So how can you apply these hydraulic principles to the swimming pools you work with and give your customers the benefit of the most efficient pool operation with a compliant variable speed pump? There's an old saying, you can't manage what you can't measure. Taking actual measurements with simple instruments is the first step toward confidently realizing significant energy and cost savings from your variable speed pump. To set up a pool pump for optimal efficiency, you must measure three key values. Pool volume, flow rate, and power demand. Measure the pool width in feet. Where the width is irregular, take several measurements at evenly spaced intervals. Add them together, then divide by the number of measurements taken to determine the average width. In the same way, measure the average length of the pool. Then measure the average depth. Multiply the average width, length, and depth together to determine the pool volume in cubic feet. Then get the pool's volume in gallons by multiplying the cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. There are two common ways to measure flow rate. The best way is to buy and install, either permanently or temporarily, a flow rate meter similar to those used on all commercial pools. Direct reading meters are available from pool supply distributors and online. Ultrasonic flow meters are also available to take temporary measurements without needing to modify the pool system plumbing. Just be sure to follow the manufacturer instructions for where and how to properly install their meters. Or you can calculate the flow rate by measuring pump differential pressure or measuring and adding together pump suction and discharge pressure, then using the specific pump curve to estimate the flow rate. Sound difficult? You need more tools and access to the pump curve, and even then you only get a calculated estimate. It's far easier and more accurate to install a flow meter. The best and easiest way to correctly measure power is to buy a power meter that directly measures true RMS real power. Traditional clamp-on ammeters are the electrical measurement instruments often carried by pool service professionals. However, multiplying volts times amps using one of these devices does not give you actual power demand or what the utility measures and charges the customer. Depending on a variety of factors, this simple measurement can be off from what the utility measures by anywhere from 5 to 50 percent. Some variable speed pool pumps will also display power demand on the control panel, but this too may be off from actual power demand. To properly measure power, a true RMS real power meter is needed. With these three measurements, pool volume, flow rate, and power demand, you can calculate the realized energy factor, thousands of gallons pumped per kilowatt hour. You can determine your baseline and calculate savings based on different RPM per flow settings. And you can be confident that you are getting the most efficient performance. To calculate realized energy factor, first determine the volume pumped during an hour by multiplying the flow in gallons per minute by 60 minutes per hour and divide by a thousand to get thousands of gallons per hour. Next, divide by the average power demand in kilowatts over that same hour. For example, if you are pumping 60 gallons per minute and the power demand was 2 kilowatts, the realized energy factor would be calculated like this. Multiply 60 gallons per minute by 60 minutes per hour and divide by 1,000 gallons. That equals 3.6 thousand gallons per hour. Divide 3.6 thousand gallons per hour by power demand, which is 2 kilowatts, and that equals 1.8. 
the realized energy factor is 1.8 thousand gallons per kilowatt hour. This is generally not very efficient and is like getting 12 miles per gallon in your car. So remember, the higher the energy factor, like higher miles per gallon in your car, the better. Now take a minute to answer a few questions and check your understanding of key points. Then join us for the next section of this module where we'll use the realized energy factor to compare three different filtration scenarios to find out which is the most energy efficient.